It's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're talking about translating expressions into equations. Hmm, I think it's a pretty easy lesson because I really like this part of algebra where we turn, you know, real problems into algebraic problems and it really is just a matter of translating. Okay, take a look at our first example. If seven more than twice a number is 11, what's the number? I know, it sounds like a riddle or something, but not if you know how to translate. So let's take a look at the different parts of this expression. If seven more than, let's just highlight that piece. What does that tell you? Seven more than something. So that means that you have something and then you add seven more. So we're going to add seven. So that's how we translate that piece. It's more than twice a number. So that's what we're adding it to. Well, twice a number, we don't know what the number is. So we're going to call that x, but we want twice x, which is going to be 2x. Is, so that was this one. Let's do that one blue. <laughs> twice a number and let's do is 11 well you know in math anytime you see the word is it stands for equals and 11 so that's how we handle the is part what's the number means solve for x that's just an algebraic equation at this point we can solve the first thing we have to do well the intention here is to get x by itself and to do that we need to get rid of the 7 first how do we get rid of the 7? We're going to add or the opposite of 7, which is a negative 7. So we always do the opposite. We have a plus 7. We're going to subtract 7. Let's do it. 2x plus 7. I'm going to write it in red so you can see what I'm doing. Minus 7 equals 11 minus 7. Because what you do to one side in algebra, you have to do to the other. So let's just recap. We want to get rid of the 7 from this side, so we're going to do the opposite. We're going to subtract 7, but because we did it to this side, we got to do it to that side. So let's go. This and this cancels out. We are left with 2x equals 11 minus 7 is 4. We're halfway home. Now we have 2x equals 4. Well, that's just a missing number in multiplication. So to get rid of that 2, we have to divide by 2. So let's divide by 2 here. You, could, you know, for fun, I'm going to go ahead and put that in red again so you can see what I'm doing just to get rid of that x. And boom, boom. My x, I'm going to write it here, equals 2. That simple. Take a look at this example. 6 less than the product of a number and 5 is 29. What's the number? Let's do some translations. 6 less than, well, that means that we're going to be subtracting 6 from something. So let's just go ahead. There's our something, and there's our subtracting 6. The product of a number and 5. We don't know what the number is, so we'll call it x. The product of a number and 5 means that number x multiplied by 5. So we're going to just call that 5x. And that was this piece is 29 and we know that is means equal to in math and this is just another algebraic equation we can solve for x first thing we have to do is get rid of the negative 6 by adding 6 I'm going to rewrite it for you 5x minus 6 plus 6 to this side 29 if we added 6 over here we need to add 6 over here we are left with boom boom a 5x equals a 35. To get rid of the 5 next to the x, we have to do the opposite. So instead of multiplying, we're going to divide it by 5. So this side by 5 and this side by 5. That leaves us with x equals 7. We also can translate expressions into equations with some geographic shapes. So we know that we've got an angle here, it's a right angle, and they're telling us that one part of their angle is x, the other is 2x. How do we find the degrees of the angle? Well, we know that a right angle equals how many degrees? 90 degrees. So what if we added these two together so that they equal 90 degrees, which would be x, this one, plus 2x, that one, equals 90. From here, we have an algebraic expression that we can simplify. 
2x plus x equals 3x equals 90. And we, to get rid of that 3, we need to divide by 3 on both sides. We are left with x equals 30. Now, what does that tell us? It tells us that this angle, since it's x, is 30 degrees. But this one is twice x, so 30 times 2 is 60 degrees. And if we add those together, we see that they do equal a right angle of 90 degrees. Okay, that's it. So this lesson was really about learning how to translate things from an English expression into a mathematical one. Or in, in this case, really, an algebraic one. Not too bad. Okay, I've got some practice problems for you. Make sure you try them out. That's it for me today. It's Nicole the Math Lady. Take care. Bye-bye.